I met Anna in her studio and she was standing next to some objects that really captured my imagination and they were a product of a former project she'd made called Knot. And we discussed the idea of her doing a more ambitious project for Margate. A lot of my work is based on repetition and I made the artwork Knot ten years ago and it was based on the concept of pixelation and found objects um, like childhood memories of pickup sticks and also the underwires from braziers which have colour coded ends. I made this artwork that didn't have a specific focal point but that was a surface that kept the viewer interested visually. I wanted to explore the possibilities of working with more colour and Margate's such a beautiful, colourful place. I wanted to literally go out and collect the colour and so I was looking at the seaweed and the sand and the boys on the beach but depending on the light, whether it was a grey blustery day or a beautiful piercing blue sky day, the colours transformed and changed. I needed to somehow simplify that and get to the essence of those colours and so I used painting as a way of distilling that information and getting to the fundamental important colours but also creating something that had a luminosity, had a vibrancy and an excitement that reflected Margate itself and I hope I've achieved that in the final artwork and I hope it resonates with the people that know Margate but also um, for visitors who come here for the first time. I applied for a grant and was fortunate to receive funding to develop the original idea on a much larger scale. So this piece has 2,000 elements and instead of making it all myself, I have 20 assistants from the area of Margate who have helped me to make it. And so through the gallery we advertised for people who would be prepared to make things at home. Yeah, I thought, oh, I could think I got a chance of being able to do this. And it was just great, like, meeting people from the local area that you have loads in common with, but maybe you wouldn't meet on a regular basis. I really love the Turner. We come here quite a lot, obviously, the exhibition, so just the chance of actually being involved in a project. And also, when you're an artist and you're working on your own, it's wonderful to be a part, a part of something quite so big. Anna is lovely. She's really generous and honest with the project and it's quite refreshing to know that she's experimenting and testing and that it's okay if things don't go quite okay. I tend to be one of those people who think the world is against me and because I'm a woman I won't do well and get bogged down in that thought process and to come here and see Anna doing this is absolutely fantastic. It's like I feel like maybe I will be able to be an artist one day and maybe I can do it. She's inspirational, she's fantastic. I think it's quite brave to step back and get so many people helping. Anna's quite a perfectionist and she knows exactly how she does these things but every time she's been saying to us, I'd like it like this and this has got to line up here and then she goes, but however you do it, it's going to be fine, it's going to be great. We spent a couple of days here during the templates so everyone's got the same size knots and then you have to sew the colour tips to the strand, then the side of the strands up with black thread and then once you've done that background the tip of the noodle so it's all completed all the way around. One of the things that women often talk about about making their work is that repetition is important, that time is important, that the element of almost a mantra for emptying the mind is important. Through working in this repetitious way has either developed their skills on their sewing machine or they have just enjoyed kind of getting back to some kind of rhythmic meditative process and taking part in this big group activity. There's something in doing the same thing over and over again that you're naturally going to get better and you know quicker and more refined. Because there was quite a long gap that we had to complete the pieces so I had plenty of time to do it and I started off with just doing them in blocks and just doing a few at a time which worked out really well and I managed to get through them really quite quickly. I quite enjoyed doing it once I got into a sort of rhythm with doing it. I would say my sewing machine control is distinctly better. I went in this hoping to get better at sewing and instead I've realised that it's, it's more about meeting other creative people but I couldn't thank Anna enough for giving me this. I really, really wanted it. I think everyone I've spoken to wants to do her next project with her. They've come on this kind of crazy journey with me, which is an experiment really, because I've never run a project like this in this way before. 
and they've just been amazing and I hope that we stay in touch and that we get to work with each other again in the future.